How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today's the last time using this uh, Floatzel team, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description, and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, we found our opponent, Issa Pix, from the Discord server. I hope I pronounced your name right, I'm so sorry if I didn't. Uh, they've got a pretty strong looking team. They've got an Azumarill, a Garchomp, Magnezone, Torterra as well, which is always nice to see. A Raikou and a Jinx. This is our team, you know my team though. Uh, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking Floatzel might do some work here. I mean, you've got the Garchomp there, the Magnezone's not going to appreciate a Hydro Pump, the Torterra's there, um, the Jinx, that's going to wall us. Just got to watch out for the Raikou and the Magnezone really. And of course, the Azumarill, we can kind of handle that with Torterra. Um, and also the Magnezone as well with Torterra. Torterra does some decent work here, especially against the Raikou as well. Just got to watch out for that Jinx with Torterra. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to lead off with something to counteract. I feel like they're going to go with an electric lead, like um, Raikou or Magnezone. I'm thinking I might lead with Infernape. I think that's a solid lead here. And the battle begins, so Issa's going to lead off with the Magnezone, just as I anticipated, as uh, we lead off with and the great thing about this is the only Pokemon that can possibly switch in here is going to be the Azumarill. So we've got to... I guess we could go for a close combat, but it gives the um, Azumarill an opportunity to come in and set up a Belly Drum if it really wants to. And we don't really want that. No, we don't want that at all. Um, I see we still go for a close combat, actually. It still works out best for us. So they're going to withdraw the Magnezone. They're going to go into Azumarill more than likely. Garchomp. Garchomp can also take a hit, I guess. Um, it'll definitely take a close combat. Not very well, though. Yeah, see, it does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Um, we don't know whether this thing's a choice scarf yet. We might see some leftovers right now. Um, potentially. Potentially. And no, no leftovers. So we think it could be choice scarfed. Uh, in which case, we want to go into our Torterra. Because Torterra is physically defensive. It can definitely wall this Garchomp to an extent. Um, so we're going to go into that real quick and uh, the next time we'll go for an EQ. EQ will be a solid uh, choice to go for. So they go for an EQ. It's not going to do much damage to us because we do resist it and we are physically defensive. Torterra is our beast. An absolute unit. An absolute unit indeed. Um, I remember back in the days when everyone used to nickname their Torterra Join because of Hoodlum's Grafty's um, the, the meme, the free-for-alls Join. Anyway. Uh, back off the nostalgia trip. I think they're probably going to either switch into Jinx or they go into their own Torterra. Um, in which case, I'm going to go for a Seed Bomb anyway because it'll do a neutral damage to everything. They go for a Stealth Rock. They're going to let the Garchomp go down. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so Garchomp's going to go down to a Seed Bomb here, I hope. It does. It does. It goes right down to that Seed Bomb right there. So Torterra coming in. Let's go Torterra. Let's go. Let's go let's go so torterra is sitting pretty right now they do get a free switch into the jinx now though which can definitely threaten us out so we've got to watch out for that we've also got to watch out for the stealth rocks which are now on the field um i don't really know what pokemon i can switch into the jinx either to be fair so there's the jinx no doubt in my mind that was coming in um we don't want to stay in i'm just thinking about what we can actually switch in though i think tyranitar is probably a good shout let's go tyranitar tyranitar is a good shout it doesn't get too much damage from the stealth rocks it's immune to Psychic if they decide to switch up moves, and it, uh, it's neutral to Ice Beam, but it uh, has a higher special defense in the Sandstorm, so we should be alright. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go in, we're going to get our Sandstream up, boosting our special defense, because if you didn't know, Rock types get a boost in special defense. And they go for a Psychic, obviously expecting something like Floatzel to come in to take an Ice Beam. Makes sense, makes sense. So, Tyranitar is sitting pretty right now. So, they could have Focus Blast. Um, there's a couple things they can go for here. They could go for a lovely kiss or the sweet kiss. I can't remember which one it is. The one that pushes to sleep. I can't remember which one it is. Um, or they could go for a focus blast. So I'm looking at this situation and I'm thinking, Espeon's looking good right here. Espeon's looking real good because we can magic bounce back the uh, kiss. So let's go ahead and go into our Espeon. They do withdraw themselves, expecting us to go for a crunch or something. And they go into their own Torterra. As uh, we do switch out and we're going to go into our Espeon. So this has actually worked out pretty nicely for us. So um, Espeon comes in. Espeon's looking nice and pretty. Sil the silver little cat over here. And I'm thinking they probably go Magnezone. But Choice Spec Psychic is going to do a lot of damage to the Magnezone anyway. Even if it's resisted. So it might be worth just going for the Psychic now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, they do stay in. 
They're going to try and tank a Psychic from a Choice Specs Espeon. They do tank it, and they go for a Stone Edge, obviously maybe expecting us to switch out there. So, um, nope, I didn't want to switch out because, well, there's a couple of reasons why I didn't want to switch out. But the main thing is because I'm trying to withhold on switching into Honchkrow while the Stealth Rocks are up. Um, we need a good opportunity to get in the... Well, then again, Honchkrow is my Hazard Clearer, so that doesn't make sense. Uh, we'll go for another Psychic. They're probably going to switch out into Magnezone now. Yeah, there we go. They're going to withdraw. And they go into Magnezone. No, they go into Jinx. Jinx, incredibly credible. Let's see how much Psychic does to Jinx. It is... Ooh, I think after Sandstorm, it's a 2 hit KO. That's pretty banging right there. That is pretty banging. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go for another Psychic. I don't see why not. It's not like they can put us to sleep. And if they try and put us to sleep, it'll just put them to sleep. So... We're either going to KO with the Psychic, or it's going to get it down to the point where, never mind, they outspeed us somehow. Really? I really thought Espeon was faster than Jinx. I didn't realize how fast Jinx was, Jesus. Um, so the Sandstorm's going to subside, which is great. Just great. Uh, definitely has dry skin. Uh, we don't want to go into Infinity, but Infinity gets out of bed. We don't want to go into Crobat. Uh, do we want to go into Honchkrow? Or do we want to go into Tyranitar right now? I think Tyranitar's the best play. Tyranitar gets a free crunch, pretty much. At this point. A free crunch. Coconut crunch. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so anyway. Tyranitar's coming in. We're going to eat up a attack from this thing. We'll definitely eat an energy ball up. Uh, they probably go into the Azumarill now. I'm going to go for my own Stone Edge just to get some damage off on the Azumarill. They actually stay in and go for the energy ball, which is incredibly brave. Incredibly brave. Watch us miss. Yeah, we missed. That was very brave of them, and it paid off. It paid off as well. That is just perfect. So, um, it's fine, though. It's fine. It happens. I mean, if you go for a Stone Edge, you can expect it to miss some from time to time. Uh, let's go for a Crunch. Crunch should definitely do some decent damage to the Jinx. If they stay in, of course, they might switch out into a Zoomerill still. Uh, there's the Energy Ball. That's going to come through. It's not going to KO us because we're a tank. It does get the Special Defense drop, which is a shame, um, but we can go for a Crunch now and take this thing out. So, really thought they were switching to a Zoomerill there. <clears throat> but, you know, I guess Azumarill doesn't want to risk going for uh, a Stone Edge to the face. Azumarill is pretty clutch against my team, to be fair. It's really good against my team. Really good. But if we can get Floatlin and get the Switcheroo Flame Orb off, that'd be great. They're going to bring in Raikou. So Raikou is a solid uh, going to right here. Um, we do have a Switch in Torterra. If we get hit by a Scold, though, it's going to hurt. And they could very well go for a Scold against Tyranitar right now. Um, I, I think we just have to let Tyranitar go down here. Let's go for an EQ just in case they don't KO us. Um, they go for a Scold. We got a special defense drop from an energy ball, so it's definitely KOing us. Um, but yeah, Tyranitar goes down. That's a shame. Tyranitar didn't get to do too much. It took out the Jinx, which is always nice. Definitely always nice, that is. Um, now we get a free switch in on the Raikou there, which is just perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our Torterra. Frenzied over here. Don't ask me why it's called Frenzied. I don't know. I really don't know. I just called it because of... I just named it after Frenzy Plant. It's like an iconic move that Torterra uses in the anime. Uh, anyway. Anywho. Go for an EQ. There's no point in messing around. The, the only switching they have to an EQ really is their own Torterra. So they are going to just stay in and go for a Scold. Hoping for the burn probably. They don't get the burn which is great. As we can go for the EQ and take out this Raikou. There we go. Raikou goes down. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So with Raikou out of the way, they have free reign now to switch in their... Hmm, I'm trying to think what they could do here. If the choice specs Magnezone, they can definitely KO us with Flash Cannon. They probably go into their own Torterra though, right? No, because Torterra can't Leech Seeders or anything like that, so I don't know what they can do really. They bring in the Torterra, so Torterra is basically their only, um, only thing that they can really do. Uh, let's go for a Seed Bomb anyway. Um, there we go, go for a seed bomb. We do outspeed. We win the speed tie. We're going to get some damage off on them. They go for a wood hammer on us, which is, of course, nearly going to take us out. But Torterra tanks it. And the other Torterra goes down from recoil. So that is just perfect right there. However, this does mean Torterra goes down to basically anything that they want to bring in. If they want to bring in the zoom roll or the Magnezone, whichever one they want to bring in. Torterra goes down to, and I'm just going to let it happen. I'm just going to let it happen. So we'll see what they do. They're going to bring in the Azumarill. It's nice and pink. Oh, I love that. I love how that's come out. It's much better than that horrible yellow color I had. Um, 
We'll go for a sea bomb just in case they decide to belly drum. I don't think they will. Yeah, they go straight for the aqua jet to take us out. Fair enough, fair enough. So, Torterra goes down. And this means that we can go into Floatzel and just real quick cripple this Azumarill. That's exactly what I want to do. So, we'll go into Floatzel real quick. And we'll go for the switcheroo. Let floats will go down to a play rough. And then watch as the Azumarill gets burned. So we're going to switch items real quick. And we get the Citrus Berry, which is cool. They go for a play rough. It's going to take us out because we're a Floatzel and we are very frail. But Floatzel came in clutch in burning the Azumarill. There we go. See? Burning. Boom. So we also took its Citrus Berry, which is also really cute clutch. So that's pretty cool right there. Um... Only thing we can really do here is we're going to we're gonna have to go into Honchkrow. We're going to Honchkrow. They probably switch out and go into Magna Zone here to take a hit because Mo well Honchkrow, you know. Anyway, let's go into our Inferno. I'm gonna go ahead and expect them to switch into Magna Zone. And I'm going to switch out myself into Infernape. I'm completely baiting them. This is a make or break it because we could completely lose the battle here if we lose the Infernape too early. Please let them switch into Magnazone. They went for a play rough. Damn. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, um, Burn's going to come into effect there. Can the Burn stop us from dying to an Aqua Jet? And can we get off a Thunder Punch? Let's see. Let's see. They go for the Aqua Jet. Can it not KO us? No, it does KO us. That's unfortunate. So, the play there, obviously, was to go for the Honchkrow Brave Bird. I really misread that whole situation. I really thought they would switch out. I don't know why. I mean, Azumarill's burnt, so it's kind of useless at the moment, so they probably didn't want to preserve it. Stuff like that. So, um, yeah, Honchkrow, come on in. Let's see if Honchkrow can pull this back for us. I doubt it. Really doubt it. Let's go for the Brave Bird and see. There we go. They go for a play rough. They're going to outspeed us anyway, so we'd lost regardless. Okay, so that is going to be the game. They beat us with a Zoomerill and a Magnazone. So, about brilliant, brilliant, absolutely fun game. I really enjoyed that. Um, it's, it's always nice to take an L every once in a while so you can sit back and reflect on how you misplayed, how well your opponent played, etc. So, really well played by my opponent. GG, it was really fun. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.